Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today we are going to be filming a drugstore tinted showdown and I feel like one would think that the drugstore would be a great place to find a variety of tinted sunscreens, but there are surprisingly not that many options available. And I am often asked what affordable tinted sunscreens I would recommend for different skin types and preferences, so I figured the best way to go about helping you guys out with that would be to just film a showdown using all of the different affordable tinted sunscreens I was able to find. We have 11 different sunscreens to talk through. I have been pulling the footage together for this video for a long time because I of course wanted to apply all of these on camera to give you guys a true feel for the texture of each sunscreen, how they apply, what they look like when they dry down. So we have a lot to get into. Um, let's just jump right into it. Oh, also, um, let's address the obvious, the change of scenery. I used to film against that wall back there but because of the setup of the windows in my filming space, that meant that I wasn't able to use natural light because it was like completely off center and I would just have light on one side of my face and then it would be completely dark on this side. So I always had to use bright studio lighting and I have just always preferred the look of natural light. So a couple days ago, I was caffeinated enough to decide to reorganize and reset up my entire filming space. I had furniture, product, everywhere. But now I am able to use natural light, which I just think looks so much better. I don't know. You guys will have to let me know, but um, hopefully all of you love it because the thought of having to move everything back, I'd rather not. All right, let's start off with my least favorite sunscreen in last place. It is unfortunately the Hawaiian Tropic Mineral Skin Nourishing Tinted Facial Milk SPF 30. The active ingredients in this sunscreen are titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, and the inactive ingredients it's worth highlighting our coconut oil, kukui nut oil, mango fruit extract, papaya fruit extract, iron oxides, and this does have added fragrance. Coconut oil, of course, is an ingredient that can be comedogenic in higher concentrations, so just be mindful of that if you are very acne prone. And the fragrance in this has not irritated my skin at all. I do have to say, I personally think it smells amazing. Mm. It's not too overpowering. It's just like light and fresh and summery. I really love it, but again, something to be mindful of if you have really sensitive skin. Despite this looking like it is liquidy in texture, it's something that I would consider to be a thicker lotion and it starts to feel a little bit tacky as you rub it into the skin when you're applying it. So definitely not my favorite in terms of feel and the color of this is something that I would consider to be fair to light and cool in undertone. It actually almost looks a little bit grayish on my skin, so it's not something that that works the best for my skin tone. If you do have super cool toned skin and you're also very fair, this may be a nice match for you, but otherwise I feel like this is probably not going to work for the majority of skin tones. The coverage is sheer, so it's not something that's going to be like super full coverage and gray looking on your skin. You could definitely get away with wearing this under makeup and it wouldn't alter the color of that at all if you're like fair to medium to tan and tone. And the finish of this is pretty dewy. So all around, I mean, just not the best tinted sunscreen I've ever tried and definitely last place in this video because of the texture and the color and I just don't love extra dewy finishes on my skin. Sorry, Hawaiian Tropic, but you smell so good. Next up is the Vici Capital Soleil Tinted Mineral Sunscreen SPF 60. The active ingredient in this sunscreen is titanium dioxide and other ingredients worth mentioning include sunflower oil, iron oxides, vitamin E, and this is fragrance and essential oil free. This has a very liquidy runny consistency and in my opinion it does feel a little bit oily when you apply it to the skin. It's also something that I think you can feel when it dries down so I wouldn't consider it to be completely weightless. I wouldn't go as far as to say that it feels greasy. It just kind of feels like you have a little bit of a facial oil on which I think for some of you that would be really nice but for me personally I like my sunscreens to either feel hydrating or pretty much weightless. The tint of this is light to medium and relatively cool in undertone. I also feel like this one pulls a little bit gray on me, but definitely looks much too pink for my skin tone. However, again, the coverage is pretty sheer, so it's not something that shows up in a major way. And the glowy of, and the glowy of this, no. And the finish of this is glowy, which I personally consider to be like a step down from dewy in terms of how reflective your face looks. I mean, I think you guys can see why I didn't love this sunscreen either. I 
was super excited about it because of that, you know, nice liquidy running consistency. But once I started putting it on, I was like, mm, this is not for me. Next, we have a sunscreen that was so, so popular on skincare YouTube a few years ago. It is the Australian Gold Botanical Tinted Face Sunscreen SPF 50. The active ingredients in this are titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. And this has a lot of nice inactive ingredients worth mentioning, like plum extract, eucalyptus extract, red algae extract, shea butter, panthenol, squalane, iron oxides, and it's fragrance free. This also doesn't have any essential oils, but eucalyptus extract is an extract from eucalyptus oil, which is an essential oil. It's never caused an issue for me at all. And I think in general, you can be a little bit more confident in using a product that has just an extract of an essential oil versus a pure essential oil. But of course, an ingredients list is never going to tell you the full story. So you'll just have to try it if it's something that you are on the fence about. Or I guess you don't have to. You could also just buy something else. The texture of this is a thicker cream. It's something that is like a little bit whipped and it definitely does have a little bit of that silicone primer feel. At first when I'm applying this on my skin, it feels moisturizing, but as time goes on and it's fully dried down, it does start to feel a bit dry and tight on my skin if I don't have a really nice thick moisturizing cream underneath it. They do have three different shades available in this sunscreen. The one that I am applying in this video is for fair to light skin tones, but they also have a shade for medium to tan skin tones that I have tried before and a shade for rich to deep skin tones, which of course I have not tried. I would consider all of the shades to be pretty neutral in undertone and I always think that that's a good thing when a tinted sunscreen has a very, very limited variety of shades to have shades that are neutral versus really cool or really warm because obviously something in the middle is going to cater to a wider variety of skin tones than something that is like really extreme on either end. And this has sheer to light coverage. The finish of this is definitely matte. And what I like about that is that I do think it has somewhat of a pore blurring effect. So if you're somebody that has really oily skin, you're concerned about the appearance of your pores, then I think that you would really enjoy this. But if you have dry skin, tight skin, I would stay away from this. For me personally, it's just not a sunscreen that I reach for anymore. I used to really enjoy it a few years ago, but as time has gone on, I have just realized that it's not my favorite because there are so many other tinted sunscreens that I think are really nice. And I just like the look of something that is a bit more skin-like versus matte and blurring. So that's that on that. I'm retiring her. Next up is the Sun Bum Mineral Tinted Sunscreen Face Lotion SPF 30. The active ingredients in this are titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. And inactive ingredients worth mentioning mentioning include rice bran extract, rosemary leaf extract, sunflower extract, vitamin E, and iron oxides. It's also fragrance and essential oil free. This feels like a moussey cream, but it ends up feeling a lot lighter weight and texture when you're applying it to the skin because it is super silicone-y, like even more so than Australian gold. And the good thing about that is that it completely dries down on the skin, so you're not left with any sort of like slightly tacky or wet feel whatsoever. Like you touch it and it's completely dry, but at the same time, this is definitely not going to be a texture that is for everybody. I know that just like for me, I don't love the feel of something that's like extra silicone-y. I'll use something sparingly like in my pore areas, but in terms of rubbing something all over my face, having to reapply it, ugh, that's where I'm like, it kind of grosses me out. But to each their own. I know some people love that. The tint of this is light to medium and neutral, and the coverage is sheer to light with more of like a satin matte finish, even though it does dry down completely, it's not something that starts to feel dry and tight on my skin in the way that Australian gold does. So while it's not for me and not my personal favorite, I do think that this is something that a lot of you might enjoy if you are looking for a tinted sunscreen, maybe to wear under makeup that has that kind of pore blurring silicone effect. Otherwise, I got a lot of different options for you. Next up, we have a newer sunscreen. This is the Eucerin Sensitive Mineral Face Tinted Sunscreen Lotion SPF 35. The active ingredient in this is zinc oxide and this contains licorice root, vitamin E, vitamin C, jojoba oil, and is fragrance and essential oil free. The texture of this is a thicker cream that I think feels and like looks a little bit whipped when you pump it out of the bottle. It definitely does feel moisturizing, but it's not something that I would consider to be weightless. I can feel this sitting on my skin a little bit once it has fully dried down and I also don't love reapplying applying this. It just feels thick 
as I'm doing so because it feels like I'm layering more product on like on top of already thick product. It's not terrible. It's just that in comparison to these other options that feel lighter weight, I definitely do notice a difference. The tint of this is, I would say like medium to tan and very warm in undertone. So it definitely does pull orange, something that is not going to work for those of you that are cool toned, but an option that will be better suited for you than some of the others that were maybe a bit too cool. Coverage is sheer to light and the finish is really pretty and glowy. So Definitely some really nice like components, characteristics to this sunscreen, even though it's not something I'm obsessed with. Again, this will be perfect for some of you. I know I have seen a lot of comments from you that really enjoy this. So that's why I do videos like this to help you figure out which one is going to be the best for not only your skin, but also your preferences. Next on the list is actually the first tinted sunscreen I ever tried years ago. It is the La Roche-Posay Anthelios Light Fluid Tinted Mineral Sunscreen with SPF 50. The active ingredient in this is titanium dioxide and inactive ingredient highlights include iron oxides, vitamin E, La Roche-Posay's thermal spring water, cassia, ulta, alata, I don't know, leaf extract, fragrance, oh, <laughs> and it's fragrance and essential oil free. The consistency of this is like a liquidy runny lotion and this is also something that I think feels a little bit like a facial oil, not only as I'm applying it, but also as it is sitting on my skin. It's not totally weightless. I can feel it sitting there a little bit, but it's something that becomes less noticeable after about like 30 minutes or so of wear. I feel like then it like really sinks in and I can't tell as much. It has a medium warm toned tint with light coverage and depending on your skin type, the finish I would say varies from natural to satin matte. I know some people feel that this looks a bit more matte on their skin, but for me personally, what on earth? <laughs> Sorry for that. For me personally, since I have oily skin, I feel like this just ends up looking natural on my skin. La Roche-Posay, you may have been my first tinted sunscreen, but you're not gonna be my last. Next is the CeraVe Hydrating Mineral Sunscreen Sheer Tint SPF 30. The active ingredients in this are titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, and the inactive ingredients are ceramides, niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, cholesterol, vitamin E, and it's fragrance and essential oil free. This definitely has a pretty creamy texture. It is one of the thickest options in this video for sure. If not, is it the thickest actually? Mm, I feel like you, Serene feels a little bit thicker to me. I have to make sure that I stand by what I just said. I put too much CeraVe on. Yeah, yeah. Eucerin feels a little bit thicker because it's like a little bit tackier versus CeraVe has more of that like nice slip as you apply. Mm-hmm, I gotta wipe this off. This tint is medium and warm in undertone. It is also one that I think pulls a little bit orange. It's something that I notice more like around my hairline as it settles onto my skin. And I think that's mostly because I never tan my face. So when I am using this to match my face to my body, Obviously my face is extremely fair and then I can like see that line of demarcation a little bit So I got to be careful and really blend it because this actually has quite a bit more coverage than I feel like you would expect coming from CeraVe I think it has light to almost medium coverage and the finish on my skin looks pretty dewy But if you have drier skin, it'll just look more glowy. I feel like there are a few things CeraVe could tweak about this to make it perfect It's good, but it's not like you know, at best of the best level yet. Next, we have a fan favorite that again was so, so popular a couple of years ago. It is the Bliss Blockstar Invisible Daily Sunscreen SPF 30. The active ingredients are titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. And would you take a look at all of the inactive ingredient highlights in this? Oh my gosh. Blueberry fruit extract, evening primrose extract, acai extract, hibiscus extract, green tea extract, pine leaf extract, almost extract, uh, can't pronounce either of those extracts. Lavender oil, rose fruit oil, Roman chamomile flower oil, hyaluronic acid, squalane, iron oxides, and it's fragrance free. <sighs> Not essential oil free. It does have lavender oil, which is a fragrant essential oil, can be irritating to the skin, and this does smell like lavender, which I hate. No! I don't like it. Like, put that in a bath salt, not in my tinted sunscreen. <sighs> this has a creamy texture that does start to feel lighter weight as you rub it into the skin, but it's not something that's like so lightweight and lotiony and, you know, like there's a difference between a super, super lightweight lotion 
sunscreen consistency and one that is a little bit creamier. Not that the creamier option is a bad thing. It just, again, depends on what you're looking for. It does feel nice and moisturizing. I do enjoy how it feels. This is something that I included in a video at one point where I talked about products that I personally felt were overrated. And I do think it's a little bit overrated just because, I don't know, it's not as like, it's not as invisible as I was maybe expecting based on the title and based on how people talked about it. But again, Again, that does not mean that I don't like it or think it's bad or think that it feels heavy on the skin, none of those things. I completely understand why so many people love this so much. The tint is light to medium with a neutral undertone. It has sheer coverage and a really beautifully glowy finish. I do really like the way that this ends up looking on my skin. I think it's really pretty. I feel like if this was maybe just like a tiny bit more lotion-y than creamy and didn't have that essential oil smell, and was a little bit warmer in undertone, or they had, you know, of course, multiple shades, which is the ideal, then I would be obsessed with this. Then I'd be fully bought in and it'd be like game over. But until that happens, it's not the winner. Next is the Well People Bio Tint SPF 30. I think this is the first product I've ever tried from this brand. Have I tried anything else? It's something that you can pick up at Target. I'm not sure where else it's available, but something I feel like I should maybe look into more. Okay, anyway, the active ingredient is zinc oxide and for a brand that I've never heard of before, they went off with the ingredients. This has lecithin, gluconolactone, coconut oil. Again, be careful if you're acne prone. Vitamin Mini, sunflower seed oil, jojoba seed oil, raspberry seed oil, rosehip seed oil, sea buckthorn oil, aloe juice, and it's fragrance and essential oil free. This is a thicker cream and when you're applying it, I feel like it feels a little bit stiff. Maybe that's not the right word. It's not like fully sticky, but yeah, there's something that like, I don't know, you get stuck with when you're rubbing it in. It's like it needs a little bit of extra slip to just make it nicer when you're applying it. You know, I like sunscreens to have that glide. Something that I love about this sunscreen is the shade range. I think they have around 14 shades, which makes this the most inclusive sunscreen in this video by a landslide. I have the shade 3 N, and this is something that I would consider to have light coverage with a natural glowy to glowy finish. I actually think that this looks beautiful on the skin. So even though it's not my favorite in terms of texture or application, it kind of like jumped up on the list because of the way that this makes my skin look. I do think that there's something really, really beautiful about it. However, there are two more that I prefer to this. First is something that I had to make an exception for. Originally when I was making this video, I was like, I am only including things that have at least an SPF 30 or higher because why are we going underneath that? But to defend this sunscreen, I'm also never relying on tinted sunscreen for my sunscreen protection. I'm always using something untinted underneath it that is an SPF 50. So it's okay that this is not as high. I just feel like in order for something to be called a sunscreen, it needs to have at least SPF 30, come on. But the reason why this is in second place is because everything else about it is perfect. And in the rare off chance that someone from Cetaphil happens to see this video, I want them to make this in a higher SPF and in multiple shades. Cause if this was an SPF 50 and came in multiple shades, game over, this would be the best tinted sunscreen for sure. The active ingredients in this are titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, and the inactive ingredients are allantoin, licorice extract, caffeine, and iron oxides. Plus it's fragrance and essential oil free. The texture of this is a lightweight cream that feels so moisturizing. I absolutely love the way that this feels on my skin. It blends in so nicely. And yes, I do think that this is a little bit thicker than Bliss for sure, but the reason why that I think just irked me with Bliss is because they say it's invisible. I just, I'm being nitpicky about it. I know, I know, but this never claims to be invisible and it doesn't have a gross smell. The tint is light and neutral in undertone. It offers sheer coverage and a really beautiful, naturally glowy finish. I just really love this one so much. My sister loves it, my mom loves it, so it's not like I'm the only one and I'm making this up. Again, I really wish this was an SPF 50. I wish that they had a lot of different shades available. And if this had just like a little bit more coverage so people could just use it as a makeup replacement, oh, that would be amazing too. So even though I know this isn't gonna be for everyone, just like every sunscreen in this video, it is second place for me personally, cause I love it. And in first place, we have the Neutrogena Pure Screen Mineral UV Tint SPF 30. The active ingredients in this are titanium, di ti hmm? titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. It contains vitamin E, iron oxides, and it's fragrance and essential oil free. This has a very liquid 
liquidy runny consistency that does feel ever so slightly oily when you're applying it it's not completely weightless but I think it just feels really nice and moisturizing to me this does not feel greasy whatsoever and I also don't think that this feels like a facial oil in the way that some of these other sunscreens do it's just the actual texture of it when you're feeling it in your fingers and applying it that feels a tiny bit oily but once it dries down again I think it just feels moisturizing this comes in four shades and I have the shades light and medium they both are neutral and undertone which again I think is great this offers sheer coverage and has a really nice glowy finish so this is the winner of this tinted sunscreen showdown while there are other great options in this video the reason why I'm putting this one in first place is because number one it has multiple shades and number two it's something that doesn't have any glaring issues it feels nice it applies nice it looks nice it's not like you know it has a nice finish but like kind of a gross texture or feels nice to apply it but ends up looking really dry or like off or something like that like I feel like all of the other sunscreens have at least one thing if not you know two to three that I would really like to be changed in order for them to be something I would use more but there's nothing like that about this so that's it for this video I really hope that you guys enjoyed this I hope that this helped you to figure out which drugstore tinted sunscreen is going to be the best fit for you let me know what you decided in the description nope not in the description box in the comments below and in the description box you will find all of these products listed and linked in order of mention in case you would like to pick any up after watching this video if you enjoyed it and would like to see more from me please don't forget to give this a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already click on that notification bell and send my channel to a friend thank you so much for your support in doing those things it really means the world thank you for watching my videos I love the freaking heck out of you guys make sure to stay tuned for my next one because that will be up in a few days but until then I hope you have a great few days